Wow, this is such a different kind of video and I am so excited to get into it. Of course, as you could tell, we are going to be ranking every single Mattel Disney Cars color changer ever, like literally ever in existence, thanks to Sensei Luminous who compiled a tier list for us to put them all into. So if you guys don't really know the gist of these types of videos, basically, you know, I'm going to take a category of cars you know, and just put them into these tiers here. We have S tier being the best, and then A, B, C, D being the worst. Pretty simple. You know, one of my favorite YouTubers does NFL content, and he does these for the players and the teams and whatnot. So I thought, hey, why not do the same thing for cars related categories? And man, I am pumped to get into it. We have a hefty one to start off the tier list series on my channel. You know, I was thinking of doing like World Grand Prix Racers, which would just be 11. But these, I don't know, it looks like there's 40 of them in here. So we're gonna just get into it. I have not even looked at these before. So it's literally going to just be me very naturally, authentically going through this and putting each color changer where I believe they deserve to be based on their merits and all of their attributes. So let's get right into it, enough rambling. As you can see, the first one here is Cars 3 Lightning McQueen, red to yellow. Pretty basic, you know, as you'll come to learn as I go through all these color changers is that if they change from their basic color to a new color, eh, that's okay. If they have two completely brand new colors, it'll most likely be an S or an A tier release. And because McQueen goes from his basic red to yellow, eh, it's a C for me. It's yellow, you know, that's pretty close in the entire color spectrum to red. You know, maybe if he churned, churned, yeah, that makes sense. Red to purple, that's probably a B or an A. Now, Raul Set Rule is a very rare color changer release. He was only released as a single and in an even rarer two pack with Francesco down here, but he just changes from dark blue to light blue, which is pretty bad. And I'm not going to, you know, I like him because he's rare and it kind of creates a little bit of desirability because of the fact that, oh, I can't get this one now, I want it even more. But I'm not really taking that into account today. So I think this is one of the worst color changers and it's probably for the best that he's pretty rare. Now we have Strip Weathers the King. This one's pretty cool because they had never done the King as a color changer before this release. And he goes from a dark blue, but of course, you know, from his regular lighter blue. It's kind of like an indigo purple color, I guess. And the spoiler, as we could see there, stays in light blue, which is gross. They always do this. You know, if a car is a spoiler, it doesn't change colors, even though it's plastic. They just didn't apply the color changing material to it. And so that is a negative to him, but I'm going to put him in B. I like the King a lot. And I think the indigo color that he turns to is nice. And this King color changer has a good expression. All right, next up we have Brand New Mater who changes from like a darker purplish color to his like greenish turquoise. Not bad, not too bad. And I think he's a B as well because the original color that he, you know, it's supposed to be kind of like a green, and that is a little more different from his brand new Mater teal color, right? So it's almost like two different colors that we're getting with this Mater. And that's, again, what I strive for because you that's what you want, right? You don't want to have Mater go from brown to, you know, another color because you kind of already have the brown version of that. You know what I'm saying? And that's exactly what this one does here. Brown to some sort of tealish, very faint green, meh. I do appreciate them finally doing regular Mater though, because ever, you know, all the way back to 2010, they did brand new Mater, probably because he has his hood, and so it's easier to, you know, just paint over that surface or, you know, make that surface flatter for the color changing aspect. So I'm glad they finally did regular Mater in that two pack with the uh, Sarah Cog's Pity sprayer squishy thing. But still, that's a C tier release for me. All right, oh my God, D, absolute D. This is a rare circumstance where you get no new colors for Ramon. He goes from yellow to red, which we already have, very much so. Now, of course, the red's brighter, the yellow's brighter than the actual releases, but still, no, that's a D release. Oh, Wingo, also D. I don't even remember what he changes from because I'm pretty sure it's just like green to light green. 
which is pretty awful, you know, color changing. It's not shade changing. It's supposed to be changing colors, not changing shades like a chameleon. Chameleons are cool though. All right, here's a pretty good one. I like, you know, as I said earlier with this yellow McQueen, if he changed from like red to purple, that's a bigger jump from red to yellow. And so red to blue is just that. And so that's why he'll land himself in the B category or the B tier. I do like that one. Now, Bob Cudless is quite interesting because he changes from essentially two different colors. That's not his original color because his original color is gray. And yet he goes from like an orange to a blackish brown. Now, not the best colors in the world, you know, pretty like pooey, I guess you could say. So that is why he is going to fall short in the A, but he's a pretty good release. Very rare and only released once in 2010. Oh, by the way, we have a webcam going for face reactions. I didn't even mention that earlier. That's just how flustered I am right now doing something new. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Next up, we have Snot Rod, who goes from orange to light orange. No, horrible, trash. Next up, we have another on the road. McQueen, of course, this blue one was on the road. So this is your red to, I think this, yeah, was red to yellow. I have to stay consistent. That has to go with the Cars 3 McQueen that changes from red to yellow. Gotta stay consistent. Next up, we have Daryl Cartrip, who goes from his regular gray to blue. Pretty good, not horrible. Was released in 2010 and 2015, so he isn't as rare as Bob. And therefore, you know, not again, I'm not really factoring in rarity, but the shades, you know, gray to blue, not as good as Bob's like orange to brown. All right, we have Cruz Ramirez here. This was a very rare release of her that was like right before they started the 2020 Cars 3 color changers. It was kind of at the tail end of like the previous generation of color changers and it was only available internationally along with a Jackson Storm as well. But the Jackson Storm is the same as this one over here. However, Cruz's is different from her subsequent release, which we will get to hopefully. Hopefully Sensei Luminous included it on this list. But anyways, yeah. Yellow to orange. It's okay. Not horrible. All right. Here's probably one of the rarest, if not the rarest color changers ever released. And it's on a very obscure character being Axel Accelerator going from black to blue. That's okay. Again, black's his original color. Blue's different. I really like this one because, again, it creates that desirability. But, again, I'm not factoring in rarity. I got to be naive here. I got to be, you know, in the sense of, like, everyone's dumping these color changers onto me and just telling me to rank them. I shouldn't know anything about rarity. And that is why he's going to find himself in the C tier. Francesco Bernoulli. Red to white. Now that's what they advertise, but it's more of like a faint pink to a white pink. It's not a pure white by any stretch of the imagination like it shows here on the card. And that is why he's going to be a D. I know I'm being harsh today. We have a lot of D tier color changers so far, but if you look at them all, they are basically from your normal color to a lighter shade of your normal color. Revo Koss, purple to his lime or light blue. He also has the black tires, which makes him a little bit better than the die cast, you know, at least in that regard, because I don't care for the salty tires on the Mattel version or the Mattel die cast version. But that isn't enough to really pull him up to B. I think this is a C tier color changer for sure. Again, blue to purple, similar distance on that spectrum. All right, we have Cruz and McQueen. This was a new one from red to black. Now, again, that's a big jump. That's bigger from blue to purple. That's red to black. That's a big jump. And I like that quite a bit. So he's going to find himself in the B category. Same kind of thing here with Bobby Swift, purple to black. So yeah, he's going to go into the B tier for sure. I like that one. Although I'm not a big fan of color changers with an absorbent, exorbitant amount of decals on them because it kind of taints, it kind of muddles, clouds, the color changing component, you know, same problem with Fillmore, although it's a little bit different from these piston cut racers, you know, we'll get to Paul Conrev here, H.G. Hollis, those kind of have the same issue. All right, here is brand new Mater. This one goes from green to his teal, but I don't like it. 
Oh, man, this is a tight one. I think, yeah, he's a D one. He's not as good. Yeah, he's not even close to the one that kind of goes from green to purple. This one's far inferior to that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, guys. We have gotten to, in my opinion, the best color changer ever released, and that is Flo. I wouldn't even know what her original color is. Teal? I'm sure, I guess. I have flow right here. Yeah, this is flow. That, though, oh, it gets me excited thinking about it. Pink to an indigo purple. That's so cool. Two wildly different colors from her actual, you know, movie accurate color. Oh, my God. I absolutely adore. I absolutely adore flow as a color changer. And they haven't re-released her, so it makes her... Tied pretty much with Axel Accelerator for the rarest color changer ever. Wow. Oh my God. I can't get enough of flow. Now, Sally was close to her because she went from blue to purple. She was also very rare until she got re-released. But again, she only has one new color here. And so that's what's going to land her in B. And I'm going to just jump right over to Fabulous Hudson Hornet here. Blue to red. Pretty nice color change right there, but again, your original color to a new one, it's not going to get you into these better tiers. I mean, you got to go above and beyond. Red's a cool color. It looks great. The color changing on this one is immaculate. Like, it changes perfectly. There is no hints of blue when he's red, and that happens with some of these guys. You know, you can still see, like, the stronger color, you know, when you go to a fainter color. H.J. Hollis here. So... He goes from green to a yellow, and that's a pretty good change. But again, you know, you have the decals. So I would have chosen to do, you know, I don't know. What's a good color changing car? Like Vern even. Now, if you're going to do Axle Accelerator, why not do Vern? So yeah, he's a C. Yeah, nothing horrible. Nothing laughably bad. Now, Jackson Storm goes from black, like a very charcoal black, to this Sky blue. I like that. I actually like that quite a bit. So I'm going to put him in B. Ramon, this one's better than the original one that we did. It goes from purple to a light blue. This one's pretty rare. And so I'm going to put him in C. Yeah, C. Nothing too special. Oh, here's another very rare color changer that they have not yet reissued. And that's Tow Truck Tom. And yet, he's one of the worst color changers because... You'd think that the blue would be the part that changed because that's like the major color on him. But no, no, ugh, I don't know why. The side decals, the yellow side decals actually are the parts that change on him from yellow to red. Nope, that's a D tier color. I mean, what can I say? How do you not make the main color of the car the color changing color? I don't know. Regular Doc here from blue to black. Again, kind of similar in terms of darkness or, you know, vibrancy. And so that's why he's going to be a C tier one for me. Now, Fillmore, I like, again, decals, always an issue. But this one is really solid in my opinion because of the fact that the blue just looks fantastic on Fillmore. The blue, it's not as bright as they advertise, but it still looks really good. And that is why he is going to be a B tier color changer for me without a doubt that's jamming here he goes from like his gray not the silver gray to a blue and so that's going to be a c tier one for me almost verging on d to be honest oh here's a d you have race team sarge who goes from his army green to like a darker version of that it's honestly probably like if i was going to make like another tier right here sarge would be in it along with Raul, Wingo, and Snotrod, I would say. And then the other ones would be, you know, remain in the D tier. But if we had like an F tier, those three or four are going in it for sure. Oh, Chick Hicks. This is cool in theory, like Dynaco Chick going from like the blue to the darker green. But it doesn't look that good. The green doesn't look great. Again, one that's verging on the D tier for me. And so... But we're going to be nice today. We're going to be nice with him and put him in C because he's the only Chick Hicks color changer. And again, Mattel knows the decal thing. That's why they chose Dynaco Chick. They have never released regular Chick as a color changer because they know 
that decals complicate this whole process. And so they're like, hmm, well, Dynaco Chick is like barely any decals compared to regular Chick. So that was a pretty easy decision on their part. But again, when you are like weighing, oh, do we do Bobby Swift or do we do Smokey? That would have been a great color changer or any of the legends. Dynaco McQueen, this one's the exact same color change as light blue, like the regular blue to green, but it looks horrible, even worse than Chick. Paul Kondrev, now Paul goes from white to orange. The orange looks phenomenal on him. The white's not very pure. Again, you could kind of see a tinge of orange in there, but no, 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 I can't, I can't. Yeah, he's a C tier for me. I was trying to pull him up, but I can't do it. I can't do it. Oh, yep, yeah, this is an A. World Grand Prix Lightning McQueen goes from yellow to black. As I've said, you get two colors that you didn't have before. I mean, World Grand Prix McQueen is red. I don't see that here, and that's what I love. Oh, God. Another Sarge. Just regular old Sarge now that goes from the army green to brown. <laughs> All right, here we have the new version of Sally that has the like hatchback popped up to reveal the tattoo. But it co yeah, the color changes the same way as the original version up here. And so therefore, I guess, although I would have preferred, you know, something new. I don't know. My mouse got a little weird there. Oop, I meant to put her here. Yep. It's a good color change, I guess. And the model of Sally is definitely better than the original one that looks like a pancake. But if you're going to reissue, like if you're going to make Sally a new as a new model, use a different color, please. All right, here we have another red to yellow McQueen. Isn't that the third one? Yeah, you had Cars 3 and you had On the Road. So he goes right there. This is the World Grand Prix McQueen. Radiator Springs McQueen, red to black. This was the such a weird thing. I somehow ended up with one of these to keep in the package when I was nine years old. And at that point, I did not collect anything zilch in the package. And I stowed him away. And I always really cherished the fact that I had that. And now... I'm very glad I do because he's quite rare and they have not reissued him. And yeah, he goes in the B, just kind of like Cruisin McQueen from before. Boost. Now you look here, it looks like he changes from a nice white, like a pure white to purple. But no, it's a very muddled white to kind of like a faint purple. Better than Wingo and Snotrod though, but still not really that great of a color changer. All right, here is the On The Road Cruiser Mirrors that goes from yellow to red. The red looks really good. I have to admit, it looks really good on her, so that's going to be a B one for me. All right, here we have Finn. Now, this Finn changes, I believe, from his normal color to a dark blue, and then the single Finn changes from his normal color to brown. Yeah, he's down here. So that's a pretty good change. I know it looks really good, actually, so he's going to go in B. All right, here we have another, yet another. Wow, that means they've literally done every version of McQueen, at least the main versions from each project, Cars 1 through 3 and on the road, as a red to yellow CC. And yeah, he's going to go right with his friends. I mean, look at them all. They're right here, all in line. Made her get out of here. There you go. Look at them all. Let's get him in order. How about that? There we go. Please. There we go. Okay. Intro Ramon is next, blue to purple. This one's okay. I remember I tested out this one because I've opened up every color changer since 2020. From before that, it gets a little bit more, I don't know, I haven't opened them all up and tested them, but I don't remember me being too enthralled with this one. All right, up next is a very obscure forlorn color changer and that's Cruisin Ramon. I honestly have no idea what he changes from. I actually do not know. But I'm going to probably say he's a C tier. It probably goes from like red to yellow or orange or something like that. Probably yellow. I think it's yellow actually. So yeah, he's a C. Correct me if I'm wrong though. But I think I would remember if there's a like blue Cruising McQueen or Cruising Ramon out there. All right, here we have red to black World Grand Prix McQueen. Oh my God, that's the third World Grand Prix McQueen already. That's a C tier for me. And you know what? I know I put the other red to blacks in B, but because there's already so many World Grand Prix McQueens, that's going to be a C one for me. And look at they even did both of them like in the same packaging style. 
Up next is Sheriff from black to blue. Eh, not horrible. The blue doesn't look incredible. It's not like, you know, when Doc changes from red to blue, that's really good. This one's not as good as that, but it's still pretty solid. I think that's going to be a C though still. An upper C though. Tex Dynaco goes from like a brown to his lighter gold, I guess. That's a bad color changer. <laughs> I'm just being straight with you guys. That's not an ideal color changer in my opinion. All right, this Wingo is significantly better than the previous one because he goes from green to a blue, but it still doesn't do anything for him to get him into B though. I mean, those colors are close on the spectrum. You know how I am with that. All right, here's the original Jackson Storm. Actually, maybe I got it backwards. I think I did. The Cruz Ramirez I was telling you about, this one right here is no different from the, yeah, I was getting it backwards. This Cruz Ramirez here is no different from the one released on like the new packaging, like this packaging. It was actually Jackson Storm that was different. And this one changes from black to like a darker blue. And so that is why he's a C, whereas the other one was a little bit better. I think I put him in B, or no, did I put them both in C? I'm not being that harsh today. Oh no, yeah, I put him in B. Yeah, we're good, we're chilling. All right, red to black, Sheriff, that's a B. Yeah, that's a good color changer. The red looks great, the black looks good, and it's significantly better than the blue to black one. Up oh, another Sarge, and this one's like army green to black. Nope, doesn't do anything for me. This one's solid. You have a fabulous Lightning McQueen that changes from dark blue, the like regular navy blue, to red. I like that. I like that a lot. Just because of the fact that seeing like fabulous McQueen with a red paint behind it looks really good. Like it looks awesome. All right, here we have brown. This is a really poop brown to teal, brand new Mater. That's a C tier one for me. I mean, the colors, I mean, they're clear, they're different, but. Come on, do Mater in red, man. Come on, that'd be awesome. All right, this snot rod's actually significantly better than the original one. I'm going to toss it in B, actually. I really do like this one. The white is the purest white on any color changer you'll find. You know, it's purer than Paul Conrev, than Boost, than Francesco, et cetera, et cetera. Although I think I might have named them all there. You can kind of see right there that it doesn't look super pure but it's the best you're going to get. And the orange actually looks really good. So that's a B tier color changer for me. Up next is Francesco Bernoulli, but the new version that goes from red to blue, that's a B color changer. I love seeing him in that dark color. It looks really good. Way better than this trash one down here. Here we have yet another Sheriff on the Cars 2 packaging. Quite rare. Goes from black to that teal. Yeah, I'm going to put him in B. He's a lower level B. He's not as good as the red one, but still pretty good. Finn McMissile from like blue to brown. Yeah, I'll give it to you, Finn. Both of the Finns, I think, are pretty good color changers because you go from that kind of grayish blue to a very different color. DJ, now, he almost is as bad as Snotrod and... Wingo from 2010, he's not quite as bad. He's kind of like boost, goes from light blue to dark blue, whatever. All right, here's a really good color changer that I really want. It's Dynaco Lightning McQueen, but on the Cars 3 mold of him, and he goes from black to his normal color. And oh my gosh, what the hell? He should not look this good in black, but he looks incredible. This needs to be like a chase. This needs to be like an anniversary piece because it looks great in black. And I'm going to put him in B, but definitely an upper level B. All right, up next, we have another on the road McQueen. You have gray to red. <sighs> uh, that's a pretty bad color changer in my opinion. I mean, we've never seen McQueen in gray before. Eh, yeah, it's comfortably in C. He's not on the verge of getting dipped down, but he's certainly not on the verge of getting moved up. Cave McQueen. Now, this one certainly got some buzz because Mattel did not, you know, they haven't done the diecast version of him yet, at least at the time I'm recording this. And so he changes from red to like a cave kind of yellowish color. It's not horrible. I don't think, you know what? It's like a tan. It's not even like the yellow that we'll get on Rumbler Mater. So 
I'm going to put him in B. I'm going to put Road Rumbler, McQueen, and C. Now, both of these seem better than they are because we haven't gotten the diecast versions for them yet. So let's put, let's check our recency bias at the door and evaluate it, pretending that we already have the diecast for them. And last but not least is none other than the Baby Quadratorcasar. This one is going to end up being very bad, in my opinion. I think it's going to be a horrible color changer. Right now, everybody loves it because... I mean, it's not, it's way different than even Rumbler or K McQueen, who we don't have the diecast for. I mean, sure, we, we have McDonald's versions of those. We have the Tomica K McQueen. We have Mini Racer K McQueen. So they aren't as foreign to us as a freaking dinosaur. And so that is why a lot of people would put this in B or A. Me, he's lucky to be in C because he really just goes from tan to like a different shade of tan. And I think, honestly, I come back to this when we get a diecast Quadratorcasar, and that's going to be a D color changer. So guys, I want to give a big shout out again to Sensei Luminous. He, she's included every color changer on here, and that's just phenomenal work. I cannot believe that she actually got them all. I believe she did. Of course, you do have that like counterfeit, maybe custom one I did in the color changers or the 12 Days of Christmas, the black to blue Fabulous Hudson Hornet, that one would go in C for me, if you guys were wondering. But yeah, guys, let me know in the comment section below, how would you rank them? I'll actually leave the link to this tier list in the description below. So if you want to try it yourself, definitely you know give it a go and then come back to the comment section and let me know where you put everybody. I was pretty strict. I mean, we only have one S tier color changer and only two A's. And so I know you guys probably wouldn't think that about me because, you know, when I go through and review these, I'm, eh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And obviously, like, when I'm reviewing them and giving them a lot of attention, I tend to kind of overstate their excellence, I guess. But when comparing them, like, when putting them up against each other, that's where it gets competitive. And I feel like the only way you can get an S tier color changer is where you have two just fantastic color changers or colors color changes. And so let me tell you what would make an S tier color changer for me. I'm going to give you the formula, Mattel. This is how you make a color changer equivalent to the best color changer you ever made in flow. You take Smokey and you make Smokey go from blue to blue to red would work. Blue to red, yeah, I'd give it to you for blue to red. Even though red's kind of close to orange, I'd give it to you. I mean, pink and indigo aren't even close to teal. So that's why flow would still even be better. But Smokey, that's a character that you could easily do as a color changer. I don't know why you haven't done them yet. You even have made a plastic version of Smokey before. So Mattel, if you're watching, make a Smokey color changer. I'll be waiting. Of course, we know we're getting President Mater. We're getting Doug Crankle, the zombie car. And we're getting, I think, Deputy McQueen as well. So we'll see how those fit into here. I'm feeling that Mater and McQueen will be C. Maybe Doug will get B. It'll all depend on you know, what colors they change from. But yeah, this has been a long video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys soon for another video. Let me know how you like this, by the way. Bye now.